So, yeah. Um, let me get intertapped. Let me get intertapped. Might as well get all that land. And a bunch of other stuff. And we might as well just swing. For, oh, one, one more than we needed. <laughs> Hello! We got the new deck. It's called Five Color Death Punch. It's full of mutations. Um, we've got things to get it started. Paradise Druid. Symbiote. Helps kick them out. Little uh, Migratory Greyhorn. Helps you get those lands out as well. Um, and then we've got other things like lifelink with a cub warden we got double strike with a snap dax you can tap creatures with with uh, archipelago we can um, bring back all of our stuff from the graveyard into play with bialante plant beast and not only that but we can destroy enchantments and artifacts um, really just put out a bunch of tokens um, and then you can use Auspicious Star X to just launch out tons of creatures from the top of your deck or permanents, lands, it pulls everything out off the top. Just however many times you've mutated onto that creature. But that and then whenever you combine all these together into one, especially if it has hexproof, if you start on the Paradise Druid, it really helps. On top of all of that, I added Deafening Clarion for utility to help you catch up when you have all those like crazy red decks, Rakdos decks, crazy aggro. Um, this will clean the board for you. Plus, it also doubles as a lifelink for all your creatures. So if you need to catch up, you can do that. Um, but yeah, that's the deck. So I'm going to show you how it goes. Let's watch. And we're off. Mega Tom, you're going down. Love the hand, let's go. This is the kind of hand you want to look for when you're playing this deck. This is what it's all about. Bow chicka wow wow. Alright. Temple of Plenty. Go ahead and lay out the druid, get things going and popping. What you gonna do, son? All right. It's nice to not have to worry about counter counter spells, you know. So we are going to pay two life. Get us a little land. Meant to go over. Whoops. Get a black mana. That was not supposed to happen. It's all good, man. It's all good. Soon we'll be able to uh, mutate a bunch of stuff out. Okay, so that guy gets bigger. Right on. Temple Garden. Temple Garden. Let's, uh. Let's go ahead and just put this here. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll morph this onto... Wait, let's cancel that. Got a better idea. We'll play that. And... We'll just morph this... Onto... That one. We'll go over this time. And we'll put out another black land. Mainly because we have one card in the entire deck that needs black mana. In that card, we'll get all of our stuff back. It's a beast. So. 
So we're going to basically whenever we put this card, the auspicious Starix, onto the Porca Parrot, crazy things are going to happen. I kind of like how this guy's just going crazy right now. We're just gonna take that damage. I mean, we have no choice anyways. What are you gonna do, right? Alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead and mutate this on top of the Poke Pirate. Go over it. We should be able to get some stuff. Just get a few permanents on the field. Um, there we go. They're not mutated, but, you know, they do the job. And we'll put this out. We got plenty of land now. And a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swing with it. I don't think he's gonna want to block, so just want to even things up a little. Hopefully, soon we'll be soon we'll be gaining life. This guy's gonna get bigger, but that's just uh, you know that's what the situation is. So, oh, he just got a lot bigger. Wow. We need to take care of that. Oh. Wow. Wow. I hope you're done. Because, wow. That's, that's interesting. So. Um... We're not going to pay life, <laughs> but we are going to swing for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We are going to kill him because that's what we do. So, yeah. Um, we get enter tapped. We get enter tapped. Might as well get all that land. And a bunch of other stuff. And we might as well just swing. For, oh, one, one more than we needed. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Alright, what are we up against on this? Fine Saturday night. Beer J Baller. This hand could have possibility. We're going to give it a go. Nothing too early, but we do have something to take care of baddies if things get a little crazy. Okay, we're going to start things off with a Triome. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I have this Deafening Clarion right now. <laughs> okay, Temple of Plenty, we'll go ahead and put that into play. Breeding Pool, nah, we don't really need that right now. What we really need is... A little bit of time. That's all we need. Oh, and a red mana would be nice. Oh, we do have a red mana. Sweet. Sweetness. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and... You know, I don't even want to play it right now. I think we need to wait. Patience. I want to blow up a lot of stuff. I want to put out a lot of stuff. So, he's not really doing so. 
So we need to put out stuff that... Well, we've got two now, so we might as well just go ahead and wipe it. What do you say? We're gonna take two damage. Pretty used to that. I usually kill myself with uh, with my lands. So he's got some very react reactive cards in here, so we gotta be careful. Very careful. They're tapped, we're gonna put the symbiote out. With that, we can mutate on top of it. Really, we'll just wait. Because I could play that for 2, for a 3-3, three, three, and that's it. But I really want to mutate. Which, he's not having any part of that, apparently. Um, so, I'm going to play this. We already have a decent amount of land out, so we can use his ability once we mutate on top of him. He's probably going to kill it again. Okay, that's how things are going to go. So we'll just have to keep on going. Keep putting stuff out. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and put this out. Let's see what he does with it. He's probably a little upset because his little... Torch footlight fiends died. That's fine. Alright, finally. Alright, so. Um. Let's go ahead and have some fun with this. We can enter tapped. Go ahead and snap decks on top of ham. We'll go over it. 3 5, double strike, all that stuff. And we'll go ahead and tech. And you know, we're gaining health, so. <clears throat> anything that dies, anything that dies will be fine. Because we can bring him back eventually. Especially now that we have black mana. Well, we only have one, but we can get one. We can get another one. It's not a big deal. Um, what do we have? We don't even have anything there, really. So I'm going to mutate this onto him. That'll be quite a bit, quite a bit of damage. We're going to do four damage to Mr. Hmm. Let's do four damage to Mr. Planeswalker. Sounds good. We don't need mana right now. Oh wow, we got a we got a seven seven big boy out of that one. All right, I'm just gonna attack with him. One attacker, double strike, making it happen, making it rain. Cool. Our twenty four health. I thought he had life link. Maybe he doesn't. Alright, Luca went bye-bye. Oh, that guy's nasty. We need to take care of him. <laughs> He's very nasty. Oh yeah, he was dead anyways. So all I gotta do is put that out. Put out the uh, Porky Parrot. Tap him and deal like four damage. Four or five. So it was over. But he did get the dragon out, that's cool. I love that dragon. Alright, Beto. Today is not your day. Pretty good hand. Coming into, uh, we, 
We got uh, one of our three black manas in this entire deck. <laughs> um, for the one card that we never use, that if we ever need it, it will be fantastical, phantasmal. Um, we do have some really good stuff right now. I'm liking this a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and put this out. Pay two life. Oh, that was my bad. For some reason, I thought that there was a blue on this triome, and there is not. So, I've got to pay for that. The problem here is we have no blue mana. I failed to realize that earlier. I may be paying for it if I don't get a Clarion. Alright, three damage right off the bat. Plus the two that I did not have to do to myself. That I chose to do. We will put out this guy. Just for some health. And then everything we do after that will just be wonderful. Unless he kills it. Which he just did. <sighs> okay. So here comes another 3 damage, 4 damage, 10 damage. What is it? Alright, Cub Warden, you're needed. Oh, hey, that's pretty much exactly what the doctor ordered. We're gonna have to get rid of this, clean up this mess. Of course, a Bosch is gonna come out. Alright. Still doesn't help the fact that we need a lot of stuff to happen. We need a lot of blue. So, we're gonna have to just put him out first and then hopefully mutate on him later and get our blue. That's really the only option for us. So we're gonna take a lot of damage. Man. Alright. Oh, Bosch is just OP. He's super powerful. Eve, Elv, you ready? We're going first. That's a good thing. This will be fun. This will be fun. We've got plenty of good stuff. Plenty of good stuff. Triome. I'm pretty sure that we die from... Whoops. We die from lands more than anything in this deck. <laughs> uh. For some reason I was thinking I only needed two mana to cast something, so I just killed myself. Pretty cool. But that's fine. We will be okay. Where were you, Polywog? The turn before this. Really needed you in my life. Because now it's just me against the wall. Of rooms. Oh, good. That lady. So, here's what we can do. I say we throw we throw this on yeah we're gonna mutate this onto him mr. froggy guy we're gonna draw on discard do we need this we may we may need that I think we are good to go we have white on 
that, so we're going to get rid of this hollowed fountain. We're going to do it over top, turn to a 3 4. I'm going to put out this trap. And we may just uh, sit here. That's really all we can do. Alright. Next turn will be a little different. Well, that kind of sucks. At least they put every creature back in your hand for mutate. I used to think they all went into the graveyard. That would be frightening. The ocean surges light. Perfect. Kind of perfect. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do things... Oh, this is a scry land, so it doesn't even matter. Let's go ahead and scry. That's good. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing we just did. That guy. And this guy. This guy here. Rinse and repeat, same old thing. All right. All right on, man. I like the way you're handling things, sir. Cool. I'll discard this. Oh, uh, that's cool. At least it puts it out still. That's awesome. I thought it just... I thought that was it. Alright. We'll put out... Um, we're gonna make some stuff. You know? We're gonna make some stuff. We're gonna go under gonna do that and we might as well just go ahead and oh okay whoops for some reason uh, I thought it would do two damage instead not the case but that's fine you know why cuz everything's gonna be fine six three four We'll enter tapped. A little cub warden. And uh we'll put it we'll put it over top and we'll actually get rid of it this time. <laughs> the right way. Oh, and I gain health from that. That's pretty cool. So we're gonna have to just try to outrun everything. As best as, as best as we can. And we'll go ahead and put this on top of them too. Just to do it. Turn them into a... You know, what do we want? 4-4 four, four or a 3-5? Probably gonna keep him at 3-5. Just because. Because, 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 because. All right, I'm tagging with everything. Because, because, because. Ooh, I felt good. He's not getting exactly what he wants. You know, if I wanted to, I could just blow up everything. Just like restart the game, basically. Go ahead and scry. We don't need land anymore. Nope. We don't need land. What would be fun is to just give everything lifelink and attack with everything. That would be fun. So we're at 25 health. 43. Okay. That was cool. All 
Alright, it's over. Alright guys, this is gonna be our grand finale. We're gonna kick the tires and light the fires. We're gonna show them what we're made of. No excuses. Only one problem. We don't have green mana. But we're still gonna wreck them. Ooh, baby. Well, it's a little late, but I'm gonna throw it out now. Uh, yeah. Yes, please. I'll take that. I'll take that, please. Thank you. So we're gonna have to take a beating until we get our cub warden on on fleek here. Ah, oh, come on, gutter bones. My mom used to call me gutter bones when I was a kid. Not really. She used to call me sweet baby angel and all that. All right. I'm not excited about that, exactly. Not at all. Not at all. Alright, Deafening Clarion, please hurry up. Oh, you just took my pork apart. This is getting out of hand quick. Very quick. Very quick. All right. No attacks. Hopefully we can get some health here. This next massacre. This is over quick, huh? Don't do this to me. So gross. So gross how fast black and red just can walk all over you. Foot light pain, huh? Oh man. Wait, you're just attacking with that? What are you up to? What are you doing? Cool. Ah, uh, that was weird. So, what can we do here? We can do a little double strike action with this no we can't let's just go ahead and make some more kittens if we do this we can do the great horn I believe hold on let's just make green yep we'll do this polywag we'll make some more kitties Discard something. We'll discard a Paradise Druid. And we'll keep it under. Alright. Kill, 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 kill. Do, 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 do. We may need black later on. And we can put up this. Might as well. Temple Garden. Don't really need that. Get something else even better. And we're not gonna attack. No attack. We're gonna wait. The opportune time. If he had double strike, I would have done it. 
We'll see what's going to happen here. He's got four land. Excuse me. Four lands. Keeping Cub Warden at bay with Hexproof really helps. We just need to get all our little kitty cats to give us healthy hats. Oh, wow. That wasn't nice at all. Okay. We'll block again. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. So, we're going to go ahead and use that to our advantage. Kind of wish... Hey, okay. Well, that's, that's what's up. Man, we had a lot of cool stuff in the graveyard. <clears throat> Would have been nice to get it back. But, alright, we won. That's the deck. The only thing that we didn't get a chance to do was cast the, the one creature that brings back all your creatures from the graveyard to the battlefield that were mana cost 10 or less. That would have been awesome. But unfortunately I wasn't able to do that at all tonight. I tried and tried and tried. But I didn't need it because nothing really died. So, alright, that's it. That's how you do it. And that's how the five color death punch deck rolls. It's pretty fun. It gets going at a decent rate. Obviously it has its troubles whenever you're going against some quick Rakdos decks, some Obosh decks, stuff like that. Um, that's hard to deal with with any deck really. But just it is very fun just building and building and building and just watching like the mutate cards open up and swallow up another mutate card and get stronger and next thing you know like your card does everything um, makes me think about adding mecha godzilla the crystalline crystalline giant crystalline giant makes me think about adding that wasn't really needing this plant beast um, because I kept it, my uh, mutation creature so protected with hexproof and all that. Um, but man, it's crazy how much life you gain just shooting out all these cats, and 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 I still can't get over how uh, mutate stacks and just repeats every time you mutate, you mutate, 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 and then just all those abilities just keep repeating themselves is pretty awesome but I hope you guys try this out give it a whirl it's like a whole new world um, before this I hadn't messed with mutate at all and I've come to enjoy it pretty well so if you enjoyed this video like subscribe Catch me on Twitch sometime, hang out, chill, and until the next time, keep on top decking, and I'll see you on the next video. Later!